Bonsoir, mes amis. Welcome back to Monaco. Last time, we made our way out of a prison. This time, uh, we're going to hijack a prison convoy. Last time, we played as the locksmith. This time, uh, we'll take the pickpocket out for a spin. As we start out, we're immediately introduced to a new mechanic. You can pick up items. Items come in various different flavors. This one's a shotgun. Uh, perhaps predictably, it's good for killing people. The pickpocket's special ability is his monkey, Hector. Hector will run around individually of the pickpocket and grab gold. Hector is invisible to guards, so if you need to grab a piece of gold off of a civilian, you can definitely do that with no risk. For every 10 pieces of gold you get, you get an extra item. Those uh, pieces of gold are represented by the black marks around the character, and they'll light up white as you get more. Birds are jerks. Birds will alert guards. And when you kill a guard, a skeleton's left. You can run over the skeleton to drag it with you, or if you uh, sneak over it, you can actually just walk over it without taking it anywhere. Corpses can serve a couple methods. You can use them to uh, unlock alarm doors if you push them into the doors. But anybody who sees a corpse will immediately try to revive it as soon as they see it. Generally speaking, it's better to try and avoid the guards. There's no way to permanently get rid of them. Over here we see the steal 10 coins for one extra ammo. That does not apply just to the shotgun. Any item you have, you can get an extra use of by collecting 10 coins. I said that there's no way to permanently get rid of guards, but that's not 100% true. If you're feeling uh, enterprising, you can actually kill every single guard in a level and, and every single civilian, and that will make it so that nobody can revive anybody else. So it's technically possible to kill somebody permanently. As we make our way down to the shoreline, we are introduced to another new mechanic. Sometimes your mission objective will be to help another character. In this case, we have to help the mole. When you run into the mole, you will become, or whatever character it is, you'll become that character. When you become a new character, you gain his abilities and lose whatever else it had. So, we'll be seeing less of Hector for now. The mole's abilities are very powerful, but kind of hard to use right. The mole can quite literally dig through walls. There are some walls the mole can't dig through. Uh, those will usually be known on the blueprints with an X mark instead of the diagonal mark that's there now. The mole can uh, use this ability quite a few ways. You can either dig your way straight to a mission objective, or if you're feeling crafty, you can actually dig yourself an escape route in case guards are following you. But uh, if you're not using it carefully, you can just wind up digging a straight path 
which gives you no chance of breaking the guard's line of sight. All in all, the mole's very hard to use well, but use right, he's very rewarding. And with that, we've finished our prison hijack. We unlock a couple new things, the mole character, the next mission, and a harder version of the mission we just did. That's actually part of a second storyline the game we'll be getting to later. For now, please join me next time.